while fans were gushing over Rudy and Jonathan's bromance. I, I love you back so much, and it's, it's just it's just so real and organic. And speculating about Panko's and Bailey's possible romance. I immediately clicked with Rudy. This single Pringle was taken right in front of our eyes. And in this video, you will find out why Rudy's girlfriend was cancelled straight away. It is not surprising that Panko has been the center of fans' crazy ships since day one. The chemistry the show's lead has with the cast is to die for. Immediately, the show's stand saw sparks flying between Rudy and Madison. <laughs> and spamming lovey-dovey pics and gushing over each other in interviews did not help dismiss the rumors. Me and Rudy, me and Rudy are like this. Rudy's like my bestie. He's the first person I'm gonna call out of everybody. Until last summer, when Madison shattered the fans' dreams by revealing she had a girlfriend. That didn't really stop the diehard viewers from speculating about Rudy's feelings, though. But one bromance that no one could deny was between these two goofballs. For JD and Rudy, seeing each other daily on set was not enough. Try living together, owning matching t-shirts, and having the same taste in anime and hobbies. Can anyone compete with that? Don't be a Sarah who? <laughs> Come on. But there was another person on set who knew the way to Rudy's heart right away. The previously unknown mystery girl is Elaine Simek. About the same age as the cast, Simek is an avid film photographer. And with her talent, Elaine worked hard to earn a spot in the industry, fetching more than 170,000 fans on her Insta. Yeah, she wasn't hired on OBX for no reason. Although it is unclear when exactly their love story began, what we know for a fact is that the two met in Charleston. Simic has been working as an assistant to Jonas Pates, the director, producer, and screenwriter of the show. And that's how Destiny helped the two cross paths. After more than half a year working side by side, Rudy and Elaine became really close. Being spotted together raised no suspicions, and it worked wonders for them. But in between shooting days and late post-set hangouts, Rudy and Elaine realized it wasn't just friendship anymore. At first, the couple felt they had to keep it under the wraps. Gossip tabloids and social media pressure were too much to handle. Although Rudy was cautious to keep his love life low-key for ages, he did drop a hint in 2020. Last November, Ponko shared a series of spectacular photos from his vacay captioned, You give me butterflies every day. Literally. Happy birthday, peanut butter mermaid. That's right, no cheesy nicknames for these two. Panko knows how to be creative. Needless to say, paradise did not last too long. It all went downhill from there. A wave of haters flooded Rudy's comment section. Some nosy researchers went through Elaine's social media accounts to bring up her past. It seems Rudy was right not to share his personal life. The exposure the person closest to him went through was a lot to handle. First, Simek was accused of using Panko for money and fame. Then, followers accused her of being emotionally abusive and taking advantage of gullible Rudy, which could not be further from the truth. The haters reached out to the brands Elaine had sponsorships with to drop her from any collaborations. The relationship Rudy was so protective of was ambushed from all sides. But the two stuck together. Despite the backlash, Rudy and Elaine remained inseparable. The couple cherished moments together away from the public eye, filling Elaine's portfolio with them. Unfortunately, it did not take too long for the hate to get worse. An entire Twitter thread was created titled, Elaine Cancelled, listing all the reasons why viewers hate Rudy's partner. Haters dug out Elaine's past support of the Republican Party, being insensitive to POC, and her anti-feminist views when she liked an anti-abortion post. It looked really bad, but Elaine did not shy away from taking accountability for what happened. She shared a genuine apology, addressing how ashamed she was of her past teenage self. I am here to ask forgiveness again from the POC community, she posted in her stories. After sharing her journey of educating herself, Simic thanked everyone who gave her a second chance to grow and learn. Elaine kept fighting back the never-ending backlash before making her account private. Watching the love of his life suffer so much, Rudy could no longer be silent. This August, despite his always positive spirit, the OBX lead addressed the harassment against his girlfriend on his Instagram. Panko urged the haters to stop, saying, Not only is she not what she is being accused of being, she is the complete opposite, and actively is so. I am very happy in the relationship I'm in. I would be so grateful if we would all move forward in positivity and respect. Enduring so much hate and backlash only made Rudy and Elaine's relationship stronger. 
The two remain inseparable at all times, attending screenings and MTV Awards together no matter what. These days, Elaine has finally made her Insta public again, and we cannot wait to see more behind the scenes with the OBX cast. If the Netflix show leads gave Elaine a chance, we should all be able to. So, what do you guys think? Now that most of the leads in the cast have revealed their boos, shall we expect Jonathan Davis to drop news on his love life too? If you want to know more about the real-life partners of the OBX cast, make sure to check out this video right here. And as always, stay awesome!